Hey there guys, this is Cole here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to give you, since I saw Equalizer 3 last night, I'm going to give you my ranking of all three Equalizer movies from the worst to the best. And I like all of these movies. There's not a single bad movie in this franchise. So let's just get started with the ranking. Uh, coming in at last place while still being a pretty good movie is Equalizer 2. Uh, I really like Equalizer 2. I think it's a pretty good sequel to the first movie. Robert McCall is once again a great character played by Denzel Washington. And I like the story to this movie. How there's this kid he's trying to protect like this uh, from these bad guys and stuff like that. And I like the final battle of the movie where he's fighting the bad guy in the hurricane. That's some good stuff. And this is still a good movie, but... The reason it's ranked lowest is because I just feel like it has it moves at the slowest. It is the slowest pace of the Equalizer movies, and and while there is once again, it's a good movie. I just don't revisit it as often as the first movie. So still a really good movie. I'll give Equalizer two an eight out of ten. Uh, coming in at number two, now I really debated between these top two because one of them, because I liked Equalizer 3, thought it was a great conclusion to the franchise, and then there's the first movie, and my number two, I decided, is going to be the newly released Equalizer 3. Now, this could move up to number one with time, but I've only seen the movie one time, so this could easily change, but... Overall, if if you're going off of terms, like if we're going off of which movie has the best story here, if you're talking about what movie has the best action scenes and best story of the franchise, it's easily Equalizer 3. Like the action scenes, especially the one at the beginning is really good. Uh, I really liked the story of like how with no with no spoilers, of course, is that is that Robert McCall played by Denzel Washington I like how he's not in the U.S. anymore and he's in a different country fighting these bad guys. I like that. And we're introduced to a new really good character with the CIA that he works with. And I really liked I really liked their dynamic in this movie. But yeah, this was a really good conclusion of the Equalizer franchise. And even Denzel said this is going to be the last movie in the franchise. And if that's true, it went out on a good note. So I'm going to give Equalizer 3 a 9 out of 10. And it's easily one of my favorite movies of the year so far. And if we're, like I said, if we're going off of which has the best story and the best action, it's easily Equalizer 3. But I really debated between whether it was my favorite or not. But I only put it as number 2 because, again, I've only seen the movie once. So it could either go... It can either stay where it's at or go up another spot with time. But my number one is going to be, of course, the first movie, The Equalizer. This is a pretty good action movie with Denzel Washington that came out in 2014. And it's basically about a guy, Robert McCall, played by Denzel Washington, who is an equalizer and beats up people. It's a pretty simple story. There's this girl, uh, Terry, played by uh, Chloe Grace Moretz, who basically gets beat up by these bad guys in the movie and I wrote once again I really like the action sequences in the movie especially where Robert played by Denzel Washington the way he beats up the bad guys I even like the ending of the movie to where he sets up these traps and basically he kills one of the robbers with like a with an electric drill and shoots one in the neck with a spear and stuff like that and then one of them is hung by barbed wire and just this is a really good movie with a simple story that's executed well. And this is one of my favorite Denzel Washington movies. It's easily in my top 10 favorite Denzel Washington movies. And it's my favorite movie in the Equalizer franchise as of right now. And it comes in at number one. So yeah, what did you guys think of my ranking? Uh, tell me in the comment section down below. How would you rank the Equalizer movies? Uh... Did you agree with this list? Did you disagree? And what are your thoughts on this franchise as a whole? And I'll see you guys later. See you.